Welcome to the My Easy Pay Create New Product tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create products within My Easy Pay based on the goods and services you will need to accept payments for. Once you're logged into your account, click on the Products tab at the top of the page. Then click Create Product. There are six steps to creating a product. For step one, we just enter in some general information about the product. First, write in the name of the product. By default, the product will be set to fixed cost. But if the cost of your product can vary, simply click No under fixed cost. You have an option of setting a limit to the number of products available. By default, this will be set to unlimited. To enable this feature, click Yes under limited number of products. Then enter in the amount of products that are available. To make product selection easier, it is useful to set product types. If you've created some product types already, you can select from them in this drop-down menu. If you want to prompt the client for an invoice number, then click Yes under Invoice Number. For step two, we will need to define some descriptive properties of the product. If you want to give the client more information about the product, you can write that in under Description. You can also upload an image or document file containing a product description. Alternatively, you can link the client to a web page if you already have a description online. Here, you can upload an image to be displayed as a thumbnail next to the product. In step three, we can customize the receipt. When your client makes a payment, they will automatically be emailed a receipt. Here, you can upload an attachment to be provided with each receipt. You can also write in a message to appear with it. Step four allows you to add questions relevant to this product. Predefined questions will be listed if you have created any already. Questions can be added on the questions list page, which you can access under the settings tab at the top right of this page. You also have the option to add a comment to any questions you choose to include. For step five, we can set the option for the payments to be made in installments. To enable this feature, click Enable Recurring. Here, we can set the frequency and number of installments. If there is a fixed installment start date, you can write that in here. If there isn't, leave the variable start date set to yes. You also have the option to require a deposit by clicking yes here and entering in the deposit amount. Lastly, for step six, we simply click save. Now our product is set up. Note that you can jump to any step at any point in the process. 